everyone. My name is Silvia Nakamulli, and today I'm going to teach you a wonderful aromatic semolina dessert called safra. Safra means yellow, which is the color of the dessert. So the dessert today is going to be a straightforward, wonderful dessert following also the kosher rules, which are paramount in the, um, in the Jewish cooking. And I'm going to talk to you through the ingredients. So we have uh, 300 grams of semolina. Um, it's quite a fine to medium. I wouldn't get it too coarse, otherwise it would just crumble while it's cooking. Then we have one egg, 100 grams of caster sugar. We have 50 gram, grams of uh, raisins. We have 100 milliliters of, uh, this is sunflower oil, but you can use vegetable oil, corn oil, um, or any other light oil. We have 100 ml of water, um, two tablespoons of uh, um, baking powder, and then uh, to decorate the top, and it's really gonna look lovely, um, we have some almonds and some sesame seeds. We're gonna sprinkle those at the top, and at the end, they're gonna look like uh, diamond shapes. Um, and we're going to do some glazing, but we're gonna, I'm going to talk to you in a minute about it. So the semolina, I really love toasting the semolina before. Um, I found this on a um, beautiful book of a um, lady called Tamam, and uh, she's from Tripoli and she lives in Rome. And she gave the suggestions of uh, is roasting the semolina in the oven. So I'm going to put it there for just like five, ten minutes. It's going to give a bit of a nutty flavor. I just put the semolina to toast in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. Um, and uh, then we're gonna mix it to the mixture that I'm gonna make right now, okay? So we have one egg and 100 grams of sugar. Uh, we're gonna break the egg in. Now, the wonderful thing about this dish is that it really doesn't need any machinery, um, any hard work. You just, uh, you can, if you, have, if you have an electric hand mixer, and a bit lazy by all means do that otherwise this is a bit of good workout for you and you just mix the eggs with the sugar and now we're going to add all the other ingredients so we got 50 grams of raisins now there are some recipe of the of the safra which put like 100 150 grams of raisins because flavors in the north north africa in the maghreb they're very rich in as dessert is concerned um i like it a touch more subtle so my number of Raisins is a little bit lower. Um, I'm gonna put the other ingredients, which is 100 ml of uh, sunflower oil, 100 ml of water, and again, just a mix, just to amalgamate all the ingredients. And then a little pinch of salt. Always suggest to put a pinch of salt in any dessert that you make. What salt does bring balance between different ingredients. It enhances flavors of things. Okay, and then we got two um, teaspoons, sorry, of baking powder. Okay, so we mix everything together, and now we're going to take our semolina back from the oven, and we're going to slowly add it in here and mix everything together. So we got the semolina, which is nice and warm, and that's exactly how we want it, because we want this warmth and kind of nuttiness to be incorporated now to the mixture, okay? So it's easier if you put, uh, if you line the tray with a little paper, it becomes much easier to just uh, take it. And then you, well, I'm right-handed, so it's gonna be interesting, but you kind of mix it together, okay? Whoops. And then, voila, you have this nice, smooth consistency, which is gonna be ready to be put in the oven tray. So here's our mixture. We're gonna put it on a, you can use, I like to use a square tray, but you can use rectangular or even round. Um, a, it's quite useful to have a, a lining of uh, greaseproof paper. We're gonna pour our semolina mixture in here and you just need to kind of help to spread it out a bit and kind of you flatten it a little bit at the top so it looks quite 
solid somehow. Now, this is the interesting part of the dessert, is to kind of create the little shapes, okay? Um, with a knife, or a, a pallet knife, or a, I like to use a, a, just a normal knife, I gently cut through. And it's just in order to give a bit of a pattern, so that we can follow it whilst cooking. Um, so I'm creating a, a diamond shapes okay so again you have lines on this side so you can do it a couple of times so it's more pronounced and then in here now this will help you also to see how many pieces of dessert you have then you have some blanched almonds which uh, you just place on top of the cake now finally a little a little bit of sesame seeds. They're gonna golden and make it look very pretty. So now we're gonna put in the oven, 180 degrees. We're gonna use an agar roasting oven. Um, and uh, in, 10, in 15 minutes, uh, we're gonna take it out and uh, gently cut through those cuts again. And then put it back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes and then do the um, glazing of, with the honey. So we have uh, now for the honey glaze, um, we're gonna use 170 milliliters of cold water. We're gonna use 170 grams of caster sugar and we're gonna boil it together. And then we're gonna add some uh, honey. Um, and then you can really choose, it's a matter of taste. Uh, you can either use some fresh orange zest, finely grated, or otherwise, if you really want to stick to the Tripolitania Libyan cooking, you can use some orange blossom water, which is more traditional. I personally prefer the orange zest, the kind of it makes it even more orangey and fragrant in it, but by all means, you can even mix the two. Okay, so now we're going to do the honey glaze, and we have 170 ml of water in, straight in the hot aga with the sugar and we're gonna give it a nice stir. Just to warm up really quickly, I really like to keep in the hot aga. And uh, as it's so strong, we're gonna transfer it in the slow cooking aga and leave it for 10 minutes to really, really um, melt, okay? Now the glaze has been here for 10 minutes <laughs> and uh, we're gonna put it back in the um, hot, hot agar. So we got three tablespoons of honey. And now what is gonna really give a wonderful, wonderful taste is the orange. Again, you can use uh, the orange blossom water or I'm gonna use some freshly grated orange zest. And you want to add this really at the end, because if you add it at the beginning with the sugar and the water, it really gets, kind of loses a bit of the flavor, okay? You add that with the honey at the end. And you wait until it reach boiling point, and then we're gonna put it pour in the hot cake, um, dessert out from the oven, and uh, it's gonna be ready. Okay, so we just took out this wonderful, suffer from the oven and it's really hot and this is our honey glaze and it's important that they're both really really hot and we just gently pour it can you hear the pshh? okay and the zest kind of nests in the little ridges and at the top and the almonds, they become all shiny from the honey glaze. So now we're just gonna put it back in the oven a couple of minutes, just to kind of dry attach this, this kind of liquid. And then we're gonna leave it to cool down completely for about half an hour, 45 minutes, before cutting again through the um, um, lines and then put it in a lovely serving plate to, to eat. Okay, so now the safra has nicely cooled down. I can touch it. And at this stage, whenever it comes out from the oven, don't cut it. I know it's tempting, but don't do it. And at this stage, it's completely cold, and you go through those lines again. I can feel it. It's really consistency. 
hard. So you cut it through all the way. Okay, now that's what the good thing about having the paper so you can easily take it out. And uh, we're gonna put it in a nice uh, serving dish. So you just take little diamonds on a plate. And if you want, you can create like a little pyramid or something. Here we go. And this is our Safra Tripolitanian Jewish dessert. <laughs>